Hello everyone, my name is Austin Schoener, and welcome back to Rise of Nations. Sorry for my little break that I suddenly had after the previous video, but I'm going to be just getting right into it. I really do not know what country I'm going to be picking yet, but I'm just going to go with whatever I want to get. There's been a lot of uh, pretty big updates since the last time I made a video off of this. Like, Africa and Europe got revamped. I don't think Asia has yet, but I think that'll be the next update on the road. Let's wait in Nigeria, then. That's not good. That's a very bad story. I do not know what ideology I should go for for this. And I'm really happy that they added a uh, title for for generation. Brazil. Depending on what country you obviously play as, of course. Um, yeah, let's try Italy. Why not? Are you kidding me? U.S. not even a player, but I already played as the United States, so no. <laughs> Now, I know Mexico's economy is slightly better, even though I immediately had to buy an economic thing. This game just wants me to tonight, and I do not understand. Oh yeah, they also updated the terrain too, which was done in the other update. Yeah, Chile and uh, Argentina are now cans for the I wonder if they're gonna make any changes in Asia though, that's the main thing. Okay, apparently Russia is also buying things even though it has the resource. Seems like a decent start as of right now, but now the United States is a player, so I'm gonna try to add like it. I see it booming its troops already. I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh, never mind. Thank God. Ugh. Alright, I can finally play a game for a long time. That's like the thing of- that's like- that's like a really common thing when it comes to this game. You never have the same outcome every time. Which is frustrating. And apparently I'm already obviously having Dongshan issues. Ah dang it, I keep doing that! Like why is the scorch button in that spot? I always end up hitting it. Guess I'll invade Cuba. And I should invade uh, Panama too. Yeah, I'm gonna mostly focus on South America, I guess. I'll work on El Salvador and, and Belize uh, uh, later. Actually, do it now. Deficit now, somehow. I better not go into corruption again. I'm gonna be so mad. I wish there was a better way. I wish you can just like have them all. Have, like, have, like there's an option that you can split all the units at once instead of it just being one at a time. That's not the correct word, but whatever. I don't need that thing. What's that? Was that for this? Oh no, the two Sicilies. Yeah, now there's like a million forms. Switzerland's the best play on, this, on the server. Oh, it's because they're invading Germany. Someday I would like to do the Mongol Empire 
It's just that I am no. That's like one of the last form balls I'll ever do in the game because I literally have no idea how I would do that. Like I would have to like like do a private server or something of invading uh, countries around Mongolia. Because those are the two main uh, countries you have to invade for the Mongol Empire is China and Russia. And there's a lot of debate over the British and Mongol Empires of whether which one is harder. I've done the British, I've done, I have not done the Mongol, and I've never tried the Mongol, so I can't make a judgment over it. But the thing is, as a UK, you are a decently strong country right away, whereas Mongolia isn't. So that's basically my stance on that as of right now. Most alliances I decline in this game, but it's... The thing about alliances is that you should not just spam alliances with every single country and expect them to be obviously protecting you because the more countries you are allied with, the more likely you'll be drawn into a war, into possibly a big war. And you should only ally countries that actually would help you. That are like in the vicinity of helping you. Like the United States can help me possibly with something. So that's why I made it. And also or that's why I allied it, but also it's always gonna outlay a country that will possibly invade you. So you don't you, you don't risk uh, being attacked by them at least right away. Because uh, being allied doesn't guarantee your uh, survival. Mexican Empire. Maybe after Venezuela and Colombia, I'll focus on Brazil next. It's always good to invade Brazil. Like Brazil is like a definitely, it's definitely a country that you should invade. It's <coughs> electronics or something else. Because when I invade Colombia, then I, my trip will end with them. I mean, if I was ever told what ideology what I always recommend to pick um, to go with, I would always say communism because uh, you get a massive factory and resource boost. And with one of the forced labor, with the forced labor policy, not only do you get a boost on those two sectors, you also get a boost on tax. And that's Portuguese. But, I mean, it's Brazil, so I'm assuming it is Portuguese. Pretty much now over half of Asia now. <laughs> Third card gone. Yep. Auto capture. Did they add any more cities to Antarctica? I don't think so. I just really wonder if they're ever gonna bring back. I wonder if they're ever gonna bring uh, Vatican City into the game. Because I do think they can. But part of me thinks they're not because of it just being right on top of Rome, so. Anyways, that's all I got for right now. I'll probably do a longer video tomorrow, along with a possible live stream in the middle of the day tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, and thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe um, to my channel, and see you guys next time. Peace.